All right, my homegrown homies. How's it going? <clears throat> Yesterday, we finished off the expansion. We killed everything. Except... There's always an except. Here I was, <clears throat> right in the description for this episode, what we plan to do today. And it's called... Returning to the main quest, or something like that. Problem is, I was like, yeah, we killed everyone. We killed everything in the White Marches. <coughs> Problem is, <clears throat> we didn't kill everything in the White Marches. And I realise that now, with a heavy heart. Something survived. And you know what that means? It means we've got a dragon to kill. <clears throat> I don't particularly want to fight a dragon. I've got no real inclination to fight this dragon. But on the flip side, I can't let it live. It cannot be allowed to live. I'm not going to be that person who said they were going to wipe out every living being. And then was scared of a dragon. I can't have it. And what that means... is that we have to go to this cave and we have to kill a goddamn dragon. Now, we have leveled up since I tried it last. <clears throat> I think we've leveled up twice since I tried it last. But I'm not hugely convinced that's going to be enough. I'm pretty sure we're going to get wrecked. Possibly repeatedly wrecked. But that's okay. <clears throat> Yesterday, we kicked the Kraken's ass. I was very proud of myself. Didn't stand a chance. Probably one of the easier bosses. <sighs> now. Yeah, okay. Alpine Dragon. Leave now. My eyes are peeled. Let's go. I don't know. Not looking feasible. Let's go. Question the first. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Useless. I hate you, Ice Dragon. I hate you with half my heart. Damn, missed. Shh. At least we're faster than him. You got to look for the positives in life. 
We are faster than him. Now, I do have a theory about this dragon. What's going on down there? Vectors. Where the hell did- oh, he summons ghosts. Oh. He really summons ghosts. That's where we're at. Oh, I really didn't want him to summon ghosts. They can paralyze me. Paralalalai, la 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 lies. <laughs> Not good. <clears throat> Question. Let's go. Oh, sure. You can always see me, huh? <clears throat> ah, got him. So what? The first time I damage him, spectres get spawned. That's obviously not ideal. Ideal. It's just they're stunning. Like, look at that. <clears throat> look how much they stun us. Beggar's belief. Rip. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this guy's gonna be much trickier than the Kraken. Much trickier than the Kraken. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't damage him there. <clears throat> I guess I'm not sure why the spectres spawn. They never used to spawn. I used to gallivant around this area without spectres. Let's go. Let's go. Useless. Hmm. Hmm. Ha, got him. Do 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 do. I hate this dragon. It's gonna be tough enough without the goddamn spectres showing up. Ah. Oh. How's he doing that? Shizer. Did they respawn? Um, I don't think so. <clears throat> Enemies don't tend to respawn in this game. The spectres are going to be a real problem. Not necessarily because of damage that they do, but because they paralyze. Oh, I think I actually... Oh, I think I de him for a sec. Ah, oh, that would have been great. Maybe I didn't. <clears throat> Ooh. See, I can kill his little scrub friends without too much issue. Then I can probably kite him. But you see, I think it's the first time he attacks, the spectres show up. And they've got this incredibly annoying habit Let's of go. paralyzing me with every attack. Which is incredibly awkward. Go get him, Swamp Lurker. I believe in you. 
and no one else would. <clears throat> Well, you gave it a good try, Swamp Lurker. I can't ask for more than that. <sighs> Ugh, the, the... the goddamn stuns! Non-stop stunnage. Being said, everyone else is really pathetic, right? So... If I kill the spectres with my bow, which is feasible... Especially if he keeps stunning himself. <clears throat> Come on. Useless. Kill the last spectre. Then I've only got one ice dude wailing on me. Now if I can shoot the dragon whilst that ice dude is wailing on me, so no one else can attack, I might be in a pretty good position. <clears throat> My concern is that shooting the dragon is going to make him twitch out and start uh, attacking me in earnest. But he might not. I can use all these shitty guys as a shield. The other problem is that <clears throat> my armor actually damages anyone who hits me. So this Ice Blight is going to kill himself. It's only a matter of time. Damn, missed. Damn, missed. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. I should have switched my armor out to the one that didn't retaliate. If I'd switched out to non retaliating armor, this Ice Blight wouldn't kill himself and we'd be living the dream. Apart from that attack, of course, but. <clears throat> he doesn't actually do that very often. And that attack. A lot of it's down to positioning. Like you want to keep him far enough away that <clears throat> he can't hurt you. was a noble goal. Almost had it as well. Almost made it. Ouch. Use the chime. Oh, the chime is so good. Um, yeah. 
I need to fight my way out. Somehow. Otherwise, I'm going to take too much damage. So I have regen. I do have regen. This isn't looking particularly good. It's not looking massively peachy. Oh, that was supposed to scare them all off. Ah, uh, let's try again. Oh, that's right, they're immune to my fists. God damn it. Let's go. Unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. That was a good prototype attempt. Is this helmet? Look, retaliation. Whenever someone hits hits me, they take six to ten damage. <clears throat> so get rid of that and replace it with some other hat, I guess. <sighs> yeah, that one. Gives us extra might, gives us unbending, which means when we drop below 50% health, uh, we can heal by dealing damage for 15 seconds. Then... This is shockproofed, so that's good. There aren't any... Yeah, I can't, unfortunately, I can't crank this up to Legendary. Because I've maxed out the enchantment value. Enchantment? Enchantment. I'd have to get rid of two extra enchants, which I just can't do. Bit of a shame. More potions would also help. Um, we don't really have much in the way of potions. Mm hmm. I guess regen. Regen is pretty nice. Just 
God damn it. Um, I'm going to save these chimes. It's going to be tempting to use them, but I don't really want to. Um, Just a shame we don't have more more potions, really. That's what we need. More potions. Need to be able to go totally ham on the potions. But I think we're okay. Let's go! There's the spectres. <sighs> Bad start. Stun is just ridiculous. Shh. Has it bugged me out? Okay, this is relatively fine. <clears throat> this is in accordance with the plan. Mostly. That wasn't. Ah, crap. Ugh, I just massively screwed up. Got him. Fine could still work. Got him. If I can take out this great oblige. Okay, now, when I shoot this guy, he needs to not be able to get close enough to use his abilities. Well, shit. Ooh. 
Well, double shit. Okay, this could work. He's spazzing out. Now I will grant you, with a 0% chance to hit, <clears throat> this doesn't bode particularly well. But it is the best bet we've got. Definitely the best bet we've got. And what's a 0% chance to hit anyway? We just hit four shots in a row. I'm actually pretty happy with this setup. Don't got much in the way of healing left, but that's okay. <sighs> We'd have to be really lucky to get him glitching out like this again. And each time we hit him, we do do damage over time, so that's nice. This is actually our best bet. <clears throat> the stars have aligned on this one. Okay, he's a quarter dead. The main problem is going to be running out of health. That'll probably be our downfall. Depends. This really comes down to what can kill. <clears throat> What can kill first? Are we going to get killed by that Ice Blight? Or are we going to take out the dragon? And then once we take out the dragon, we do need to kill everything else. Which is going to be tricky with no help. So far, it's looking all right. We can probably take out the rest. We'll just keep this strategy going and kill all the rest with our bow. Um, while this one ice blight tries its hardest to kill us. <clears throat> as long as it fails in its job. We'll be living the dream.
Ooh, ah. Oh, we got him down to half health. This might be the cheapest way I've killed a boss so far. Damn, Possibly. Definitely up there. <clears throat> it's up there with the greats. Based on our health levels and the amount of damage we're doing to him, I think we'll kill him before we die. <sighs> then the question is, can we kill everyone else before we die? And the answer to that is a resounding maybe. As long as he doesn't unglitch himself, we're good. <laughs> He's down to a quarter health. Down to 431 health. That's not good. That's really not good. We need him to die so we can start dealing with these other guys. I really don't want to fail this time because I doubt we're going to get this lucky again with our positioning. Die. Good. Right. Shit. Ooh, okay. Ah, got him. It's kind of bad.
Got him. If we can kill the users, Ivan Ooze. If we can kill the users, then he's got no more ranged attacks. Uh, that petrified really doesn't help. Right, we've got no more healing. Now it's down to sheer willpower. <clears throat> That's what we needed. Sure. No. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Useless. And that is how you cheese a boss. Ooh. What'd you miss? <clears throat> uh, I killed that ice dragon. Remember the ice dragon we were having problems with ages ago? He's dead. Thanks to some incredible cheese, if I do say so myself. Majestic cheese. The kind of cheese that only happens once in a lifetime. Like, I actually don't think I could replicate it. Useless. <clears throat> Let's go. Ha, got him. Whew. Success. Please don't come back to life. What's happening? <clears throat> as the dragon falls dead, essence erupts from its corpse. It seems as if many lives, or fragments of them, are returning to the wheel all at once. The freshest of these gives you the brief impression of a young man trekking through the mountains in search of... Before you can see the rest of the memory, the essence dissipates. <clears throat> Quest completed, his better half. Oh, Egader! Totally, totally, Egader! That's right, his soul twin was the dragon. Whew. Let's save. And then let's see what kind of loot we can get. Whew. Dragon meat. Spirit residue. No dragon scales. I thought we'd at least get a dragon scale. Hmm. 
No dragon scales. I've never been so insulted. A bow. A really good bow. A shield. Yeah. Ooh, that's really nice. I don't think it beats 15% attack speed, but it is really nice. That bow is really nice. Um, what's Annihilation? Crit multiplier. Make it legendary. Using my Kraken eyes. <clears> hmm. <throat> it's my current one. I need to compare these bows. <sighs> what does Reliable do? Turns grazes into hits. 25% damage over time. I do really like that 25% damage over time. Twenty percent of hits converted to crits. See, this is a really nice bow, persistence. Really, really nice bow. Damaging three. But the other one I think we can make legendary, which is fifteen percent accuracy, fifty-five percent damage. Mmm. Mm. 22 to 34, 19 to 28. Then we can add White Forge. We can make it legendary. It's got spell striking confuse. Grants confuse on a crit. Interesting, interesting. Only thing is, I'd really miss that damage over time. I really like that damage over time. Guess it's irrelevant for now. <clears throat> I'm just happy to have it. Ooh. Now I can safely say... <clears throat> that everything in the White Marches is dead. Whew. What an ordeal that was. Which means... We can actually do what this episode's supposed to be all about. We can return 
to the main quest line. Whew. Let's go back to Cadnua first. I wonder how much of the main quest we've got to go. Hey, woo! He missed us killing a dragon. He sure did. It was spectacular. You wouldn't believe how I killed it. <clears throat> I didn't think I was going to be able to beat that dragon once it started summoning those spectres. Ugh. But persistence wins through. Always. It was delicious cheese. It was the best cheese. It was unique cheese. It was the stars have aligned cheese. So now we need to go to Twin Elms. Try and find some assassin guy. How do you do? How do you do? How do I do? Whew. Twin Elms, Twin Elms. Don't know if we ever went to Twin Elms. I think we I think we did. I think we briefly popped our head in. Before going off to the expansion. Very briefly. Hard to say, it was two years ago. <clears throat> I installed PoE2 today. In preparation. <sighs> right, let's see what our journal says. I do have a bunch of flames. A uh, bunch of flames? I read flame. We do have a bunch of quests. Find Esker. The mill in Durford. Talk to Alari in Earth Song's Market. <clears throat> Here we are, saving the world from giant robot invasions. And it's like, ah, robot invasion's done, what should we do next? Oh, go and convince some woman to return some guy's copper. Really? That's where we're at? Okay. I'll get that guy's copper back. <clears throat> I feel like I should just be able to go, look, here's the copper, man. Maybe I can. We got so much gold. Like, look, don't waste my time with this. Beralt, an Adirian dignitary, has arrived at the stronghold. Well, good for him. What does he want? Nothing. Okay. A named beast. 
Maybe it's not. Maybe that's like what the beasts are called. He wielded dark sorcery, the intruder. They saw the man break into Tear Avon. He commanded strange powers. Did he look like this one? What brings you here? What's Tear Evren? <clears throat> it stood since time of the builders, and it'll stand long after we're gone. The tower stands strong, and the gods live within. Gods, eh? No place for unclean souls or foreigners. Okay, well I bet I'm going there. Uh... Oh, these guys are frickin'... Yeah, they've got the coloured names. That means that they're Kickstarter backers. They'll be the first to die. Right, where's this lady's house? Hmm. Talk to Alari in Hearthsong's Market. I found her at her dwelling. Uh. Okay. I do want to buy healing potions, so <clears throat> going to the market might be a good idea. Get out of here, little quest thing. Ooh. Tamara's always hungered, like a prowling Stelgar. She hungers not for Glamfathoms, but more Estramoran to trade. Good to know. Good to know. I want to wipe out this town. I want to wipe it out so badly. Ugh, I just want to murder them all. <clears throat> Should probably wait though. Should probably hold off. Curb my killer instinct. Hey, Clawn. Clawn, you're just a Kickstarter guy, you son of a bitch. Builder's wisdom to you. What have you got? Traps. Pass. Derwin. Many blessings, traveler. You've got weapons. Pass. Mazden. Estramor. You've got shitty food. Pass. I won. I'm looking for a lorry. Climb up the stairs at the top of the circle of ruins. Okay. Potion of major endurance. That's what I'm after. I'll take the regen as well. They actually came in handy in that dragon fight. <clears throat> Nobody's selling any pearls, no? What brings you here? He sells crap. Okay. He does have that ebony spider figurine. I really hoped at the end of the expansion I'd get some sort of decent loot. He literally got nothing. No loot for beating the expansion. Nothing. At all. <clears throat> Very disappointing. Although somewhere I got two Kraken eyes. Not sure where I got those from. Pretty happy about it, though. Is this our house? I will murder this whole town.
feel like lowering myself to doing these petty quests. Just isn't worth it. Hey, Alari. I expected Renato to employ someone on his behalf. I'm surprised to see it's you doing his bidding. Does the presence of my armed entourage concern you? No. Look, I'm here for the money. What do the Estra Moran value more than coins? The Fisher Crane tribe has courted the soul for generations. Does Renato believe these herbs grow like weeds without our efforts? Look, I don't care, Alari. I'm here for the money. You owe him. You're going to pay what you owe. The deal has been done. Renato has the spoils of our harvest. We cannot reunite the Valian with his coin any more than we can put the Elard Gola leaves back on the stem. That's very philosophical, Alari. You're not getting away with it that easy. <clears throat> I want the money. Cleanse this filth from my hearth. Alright. I mean, alright. She's a werewolf. She's a goddamn werewolf. She's a corpse. She's a goddamn corpse. These guys are pretty strong. I mean, they're not a threat. But they are pretty strong. Right. I'll take your money. Let that be a lesson to anyone else interfering with my questing. My eyes are peeled. Got any secret loot? No. Wonder who Renato is. <laughs> Just murdered a woman to some guy's debt, and I don't even know who he is. Who the hell is Renato? He's probably in the inn or something. <clears throat> I should find Renato in Hearth's song by the lift to the Celestial Sapling. Okay. Oh, Renato! I've done your dirty work. I swear, if he's like, you weren't supposed to kill her, I'm not going to be happy. Hello. I've got your coin. D. Varus? I'd almost given up hope. Come find me at the Celestial Sapling. I'm sure I can find some choice items. I'm sure you can, man. I'm sure you can. I'm sure it's not just going to be trash. <clears throat> hey, look, they've got ogre friends. You want up? I pull. Um, do I want up? <sighs> Kill some dude in Elm Shore. What's this? <clears throat> Cragged Holt. The steward, the steward believes I should investigate a problem. Hey, I want to investigate a problem. Of 
Crag Holt. Sure. That's like uh, related to our nobility, right? Related to our castle. Oh, Crag Holt. I'll murder a bunch of guys, sure. Happily. <clears throat> This is a quest from my steward. It takes priority. I mean, it sort of does. I did do the entire expansion first, but now that that's out of the way, it takes priority. Oh, Crag Holt. What am I doing here? This doing won't their stop shit. Me for long. Uh, sleeping Orlan. Quietly approach him. Uh, he saw us. One more round with the Amawa, please. <clears throat> um, kill him. Uh. Sorry, gunslinger. That gunslinger just threw a knife at me. You son of a bitch. How rude. Yoink. Oh, camping supplies, yes. Hey, friends. <clears throat> Whoa. I may have been a little overconfident. a little overconfident. Just a wee bit. Well, <clears throat> there's a lesson there. And that lesson is just because. I murdered a kraken, and I murdered a dragon, and I saved the world. It doesn't mean I can kill six random mercenaries. Good to know. Right, take this zone seriously. Can do. No problem. Quickly and quietly. <clears throat> Oh shit, he's a monk. I was supposed to be taking it seriously. Oh. I just assumed he'd die in one hit. Okay. We'll kill him through dialogue. I really expected this to be a cakewalk after the expansion. Not the case. Really not the case. No problem. <sighs> Fine, you stupid Orhan. Intruders. 
This is fine. Death. Ooh. Good luck, guys. God damn it, cut that flaming shit out. Fire gave me horrible flashbacks to those towering giant guys. These mercenaries are no joke. <sighs> Which implies I must be quite close to the end of the game, I think. Otherwise, <clears throat> I should be absolutely stomping these guys, right? You would think. Look, I know there's a war mage around here somewhere. Oh my god. <clears throat> Good luck, guys. Probably save. <clears throat> no wonder I didn't do this zone when I first came here. These guys are well tough. Maybe this is expansion content? No, surely not. Just trying to figure out how these guys are so tough. They're not yet average. <clears throat> scummy random guys. They are as tough as the expansion guys.
Now, I will grant you that's not tough enough, but it is quite the challenge. Death to our enemies. Sure. Whew. I mean, I guess they're easier to hit than the expansion guys. Certainly no walk in the park, though. Oh, I need to sort my hat back. What to do with that new bow? I should probably rest. Guys don't play. They're still following me. Come on, man. Not like this. Phew. My eyes are peeled. <clears throat> that was somewhat sketchy. I think this is expansion content, you know? I think it's got that auto-scaling turned on. Let's... 
I think so. Yoink. Time to see and not be seen. <sighs> what am I even doing here? Let's go! Randomly murdering a bunch of mercenaries. Good. This won't stop me for long. This won't stop me for long. Lockpick failed. Uh, Commander Balerin, proceed to Cragholt with utmost haste. Consul Hort will not willingly part with the Anguithian phylactery. You must secure it by any means necessary. Be warned that all previous attempts at acquiring the artifact have met with abject failure. We know very little about the phylactery save it's nearly indestructible. With that in mind, I would recommend using your considerable forces to lay siege to Cragholt. Once Consul Hort is dead, you may retrieve the phylactery from what remains of his tower. Delivery of the artifact is your primary charge, but definitive proof of Consul Hort's demise will entitle you to a substantial bonus. Spare no expense in fulfilling this task, but know that any outside interference will constitute a breach of this agreement. Oh, I've breached his agreement. Oh. I've spent a considerable I've spent considerable resources to ensure that any local authorities will look the other way. Any overly curious parties should be dealt with accordingly. Look, <clears throat> you probably don't want to be leaving those letters around. If you want stealth... Anguithian artifact, huh? Phylactery, huh? No way these soldiers are just regular dudes. Let's go. They're incredibly strong. Good job, man. Death comes for you. Oh. 
Dee -dee -dee. Oh, stuck. And that is why movement speed is so important. I've been debating throwing away my boots of speed. But stuff like that is why you don't. It gives you the ultimate get out clause. My eyes appeal. All that to kill one marksman. Ugh. None shall stop us. They're beating me. Useless. They're actually beating me. These mercenaries ain't nothing to F with. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're pretty lame, but... I bring your end. I bring your end, and then he nukes his own guy. Brilliant. Attack. Hey, where are you going, War Priest? No, 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 no. the sergeant, huh? Okay. Maybe they're not expansion level, guys. Maybe I'm giving them too much credit.
Ooh, free corpuses. Nice. Oh my god, even more of Priest is really uncool. Appeal. Mm -hmm. There's so many bad guys in this zone. It's quite a big zone as well. Well, to be fair, I don't know if they're bad guys. I just know that... Prothar? Who the hell are you? Prothar, you picked the wrong team. Prothar, you're a son of a bitch. Oh my god. Hey, this guy's pretty tough. Crothar! Damn it, Crothar. That's what you get. Give me your 80 gold. Quickly and quietly. Apparently 80 gold is worth 12 copper pieces. That's some weird exchange rates right there. Maybe they're incredibly tiny bits of gold. All the copper pieces are huge. This guy's got monks on his team, huh? Well, oh, gonna be honest, I wasn't quite ready for that. Yeah, yeah, well done. You summoned some flame dudes. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. I'm prone for 10 seconds. Ugh, that's really bad. Ah! Worst part is my overzealousness. I don't know when I last saved. Pretty sure it was a while ago. Pretty damn sure it was a while ago. Please don't be a while ago. It is, you can tell by the load time. Oh, never mind. I'm happy to be wrong.
Oh boy, I'm happy to be wrong. I think it's pre-Crothar, but that's okay. Maybe it's not pre-Crothar. Hey, that'd be even better. It only auto saves when you uh, switch zones. Five that with seven health. Got it. I really resent that these monks almost kick my ass and they're wearing no gear. Kind of insulting, really. Quickly and quietly. Quickly and quietly. Quickly and quietly. There's no way this is just generic loser content. This has to be expansion auto leveling stuff. The guys are unreasonably tough for just being a random quest in the main game. Ooh. You're about 50 hours into your second run as a cruel and aggressive paladin. Nice. I heard paladins are really good. This is my first playthrough and I've been... <clears throat> I'm an incredibly helpful, incredibly helpful monk who will murder entire towns once all the quests are done. The only way to stave off my wrath is to offer me a quest. <clears throat> Naruto style running. Oh yeah, we run so fast. Very important to summon these nerds as soon as possible when we're low on health. Your first run was Monk and she was OP. Yeah, Monks are great. Really, really great. <clears throat> Sometimes that glitches out and doesn't kill you. I love a good monk. I think we are pretty OP. It's just... Path of the Damned, you know? <sighs> Maybe we're not OP. Sure. We're pretty damn strong, though. Incredible mass murdering psychopath monk. Yeah, that's what we are. 
This guy got lucky last time. Yeah, knocked me prone. Let's go. God damn it. That guy's not even going to come and fight me. What a jerk. He holds me in place, casts his shitty spell on me, and then doesn't even follow through. <clears throat> Playing solo, you imagine, is so difficult. What difficulty? Uh, Path of the Damned. The hardest difficulty. My eyes are peeled. It really is tough at some points. Really, really is tough. Let's go. We've had to get quite um, creative to beat some of the bosses. Haha, <laughs> 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 beat you to it, you scumbag. <laughs> Becky, <clears throat> finally got to watch my stream again. Yeah, good times. Look, monk, don't run off and leave your friends here. Ah, oh, you absolute jerk. Uh oh. You guys, go get him. Please finish him off. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Look, kill the monk. Are they not going to despawn? They should despawn, right? They should despawn, unless he's playing with some super hacks. They should despawn. Do his duplicates not despawn? Oh, that's so cheap, man. If they despawned, we'd get up. I mean, I know that would be cheap as well, but still. They should have a lifetime. Mine have a lifetime. Uh, when will I be streaming Lethal Decay? I mean, State of Decay. Uh, don't know, really. Maybe after Pillars of Eternity 2? Depends if there's any other games out. Death by default. That's exactly what happened. <clears throat> I can't believe that his guys never despawn. That's such an advantage the AI has. Got it.
Right, you guys go after him, I'll take out the ads. Not happy about it, but I will. Pillars <sighs> 2 is great. I've not played it, but um Time to see and not be seen. I installed it because I think we're getting quite close to the end. But yeah, I've not I've not played it. Looking forward to it though. I have heard good things. Sure. Gaida and Anamansa wants a prisoner to conduct experiments on. I don't think I have any prisoners. Attack! You're right, I should have saved. I bring your <clears throat> I should have saved. I'll be a bit more cautious as I haven't saved. Bring your end. I bring your I bring your end. I'll go. I bring your end. Wow, this guy's real hard to hit. There's no way these guys are just random guys. This must be expansion content that's got the level scaling. Has to be. There's no way just generic dudes in the main storyline, who are clearly a side quest, would be this strong. There's just no way. Must be expansion content. Must be DLC. Has to be. Quickly and quietly. <sighs> there we go. <clears throat> I saved. My save discipline is not the best. I'll be the first to admit that. If these are just regular non DLC level scaled guys, I'm actually a bit concerned. Because they're putting up a good fight. And I thought we would truly stomp 
the main quest line. I know this isn't the main quest line, this is like Attack. a random stronghold quest. But still, concept remains true. Save for Eves. Sure, that just killed themselves. Hey, Moritz! Good to see you, man. Not just for you, but for all viewers, present and future. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. And for myself, I suppose. It's no fun having to redo stuff. Good job setting yourselves on fire, guys. Beyond. I love mages, they do so much more damage to their own guys than they do to me. It's great. All they do is kill each other. I'm pretty sure they did most of the damage there. Brilliant. Why did I come down here? <clears throat> There's something going on here, some sort of ritual. Zero loot. They have the hots for me. Haha, <laughs> very good. <clears throat> okay. Why does it keep putting me in combat? Cleared out most of this zone, I think. Kind of tired of killing these mercenaries. Ooh, a cave. Secret entrance. <clears throat> Miss Loot. Oh yeah, I know that chest. We can't pick it. We don't have the technology. Okay. We're not skilled enough. 
Nice combat keeps starting, god damn it. They were friendly, god damn it. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Let's go. Wow, these guys are annoying. Are they killing each other up there? <clears throat> I guess it is a siege. <laughs> he says my character's so aggressive, starts fights even on, all, on his own. Wow, these guys really don't know when to call it quits, huh? <clears throat> Annoyingly, we're out of camping supplies. <laughs> he is also aggressive in selling burgers. I don't appreciate being out of camping supplies. <clears throat> I really don't appreciate that. That means we have to go all the way back to a town. Probably Cadnua. I like the noise they make when they get hit. Attack! Attack! Hey, Baylorin. Oh shit, everyone's helping him. Attack! I bring. God damn it! Fine. They win this round. Baylorin, he's the guy who the letter was for. That means he's the guy leading the siege. <clears throat> awesome. That means he likes to lead from the front. An admirable, if risky, trait. Although, <clears throat> if it led from the back, he'd be dead already, so probably a wise choice on his part. Piling payday.
When I kill hirelings, do I get to loot them? Not sure if I do. <clears throat> If I do, you could probably make infinite money that way. Let's see if our visitors are here. Oh, visitors? No. See, the visitors never even show up anymore. Hello. They're real scumbags. <clears throat> No pearls? No. That's fine though. Hey shock mage. Sorry, but I gotta test this. I don't get to loot them. Okay. If you did, that'd be great. That shock mage was, uh, shocked. Haha. <laughs> Some of the people you meet and fight in the world can be taken prisoner and held in your stronghold. And then you can sell them for like 700 copper. I've not found any other use for prisoners. Right, let's kill this boss man and then <clears throat> see what the deal is with this uh, castle. I assume we're going to have to murder the castle as well to get this artifact. I doubt they're just going to hand it over. Are there supplies in this? Well. That sure showed me. It's a hell of a trap. <sighs> Didn't expect it. Got it. You win this round, trap. Time to see and not be seen. Can't even find the trap. Let's trigger it again. Maybe we'll live this time. No. Does 400 damage. That's obscene. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to have to... Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're gonna have to eat something. Um, Oh, 
401 health. Go! No! I guess it does more damage. I really thought 401 would be enough. Shizer! Let's try again. Way! Boots of speed. got so many pairs of goddamn boots of speed. They must be the most common magical artifact in this world. They've got a factory somewhere just churning out boots of speed. <clears throat> a bunch of child mages just enchanting boots for like one copper a day. They've got so many of them. You guys weren't supposed to attack me as a group. Ah, <sighs> these guys are the worst. Of a bitch. They just won't split up. Baylorin! It's not cool. It's not cool. Got it. I don't care about those boots of speed. Let's go. I bring. That's right, man. You can keep shooting me. I don't hold a grudge. <clears throat> I assume all your friends have gone back by now. Time for you to die. Let's go. One down. Trick is you need one of them to keep targeting you, and the rest to leave. You know what? This is okay. Three of them, sure. God 
Damn it! are actually the worst. Always backing them, backing each other up. It is a good thing the Eyeless weren't like them, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Priest, stop healing this guy, please. <clears throat> it's not cool what you're doing, priest. Did he just say, damn, I missed, when drinking a potion? Oh my god. Get him! Meanwhile, I'm gonna do a tactical retreat. I believe in you guys. Lauren, you're a real jerk, man. I uh oh. I bring your end. Uh -oh. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much. Oh my god. He just doesn't want to die. Baylorin! It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. I totally saved after killing a few of them. Absolutely. <clears throat> God damn it, I didn't. Sure. Ah, I hope the simple act of saying it would make it true. Quickly and quietly. Let's go. Right. Save. <clears throat> Time to see and not be seen. Let's go. Attack. It's the war priest who's the problem. Not that I'm one for playing the blame game. 
but it is very much the War Priest who's the problem. Why is that marksman using daggers? These guys are mental, they don't they don't play by the rules. The old marksman dagger routine. Okay, I think I got a subset of them. War Priest, I swear to God. Where's your god now, huh? Where's your god now? <laughs> Abaddon. Good old Abaddon. He had a crazy girlfriend. Abaddon's girlfriend was like, what's that, Abaddon? You care about progress? You really like these people? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call down the moon to smash into the planet and kill everyone. How'd you feel about that, Abaddon? <clears throat> ancient Death Guard? Who the hell are the Ancient Death Guard? You doing here, Death Guard? I mean, it breaks up the monotony a bit from killing mercenaries, but what the hell is an ancient Death Guard doing here? <coughs> Maybe he was summoned by someone. No, summons don't leave loot. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> That's true, he was dying soon. That's what he was doing here. Oh, Baylorin. You're running out of friends. You've run out of friends. Awesome. Kick crap out of him. Enter Cragholt. Okay. His armor is <clears throat> not bad. It's not bad. Small bronze key. Ah, small bronze key. Small bronze key.
Maybe it's for this chest. Yes! Whew. Um... Trash. Still, at least now I know what's in there. <clears throat> now. Not bad. It's really not bad. Not bad at all. Nowhere near as good as ours, but... Do-do-do-do-do. Okay. What are we going to have to fight up here? <clears throat> I did save. I did save. Yoo-hoo, besiegers! Well, that's just rude. I'm here to help, besiegers. I'm here to help. I swear. Death Guard! Hey, castle guys, there's Death Guards running around. I'll kill them for you, don't worry. Ronald McDonald, Pest Extermination Services. ghouls <clears throat> don't they stun you I think they do there's no way these are just regular enemies this has to be DLC content that's auto scaling I find it beyond inconceivable that regular, non-expansion enemies would be this tough. Unless they were like, the end boss. Also, it turns out Algols are pretty pathetic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right, I'm here to help myself to all the loot I can find. That's exactly it. There's always a price. Mm, 
I'll heal. Let's go. I don't like healing. <clears throat> it implies weakness. But sometimes it has to be done. He says, Ronald McDonald Pest Control. I'll deal with it. Just give me all your quests and loot. That's right. And then expect to be killed at the end. The true price is your life. But we don't market that. <clears throat> be a PR disaster. That's why we have to wipe out whole towns. So that word can't spread that it was us. These Death Guard are pretty tough. <clears throat> By that I mean pretty hard to hit. Right, why did I come up here? Is that a guy who's been squashed? <laughs> it totally is, look. He's been squashed by a boulder. Poor little bugger. Potentially one or more eyeless remember my slaughter. No, no, we destroyed the eyeless. We eradicated their souls. <clears throat> we untangled the threads that held their souls together and dispatched them into the ether. That was the last thing we did. <clears throat> They're not around to tell anyone anything. I hate these death guard. They got really inconsistent stats. You would think because they're named the same, they'd all be the same, right? Not the case. I guess they've got different weapons. The different weapons that are doing it. So it's the ones with the shields that are annoying. The rest of them are alright. When they've got <coughs> shields, 
Our chance to hit totally tanks. There not be many more death guard. They were a nice uh, distraction at first. My eyes are peeled. But now that they're proving <clears throat> vaguely irritating to kill, I've had enough of them. Dead man in a fountain. Very useful. Something glints beneath the surface. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's what's glinting beneath the surface? I want whatever glints beneath the surface. I think this is the way I need to go, so let's check what's up here. And I'll save. The old safety save. Wow. Okay, there was nothing. I never checked out that cave either. Should probably check out the cave before coming in here. Don't be a dragon. That's all I ask. Already killed one dragon today. Don't want to have to make it two. a lot of bones. Be <clears throat> Don't be a dragon, two or three perhaps. Oh, if you had to fight two dragons at once, that'd be brutal. I'm trying to think if any game's ever made you fight two dragons at once. I don't think so. They should do. That'd be amazing. Very, very difficult. <laughs> and in Baldur's Gate 3, when you shoot that dragon, when you're level 4, it runs away. Brilliant. No problem. Ooh, that paralysis is brutal. Nice. <clears throat> oh, 
Whew. Yoink. My eyes are peeled. <coughs> My eyes are peeled. Let's go back and finish these guys off. Pathetic. These are skeleton guys, right? <clears throat> Something weird going on in this castle. Definitely something funky going on. <clears throat> but these guys drop pearls. That's totally awesome. Oh my god. That's great. They drop pearls. <clears throat> Every pearl we get is two healing potions. Good ones as well. Yoink. Imagine being dead and having healing potions on your corpse. How embarrassing. Be seen. Is this going to be the quick exit? Almost certainly. Okay. I'm still tempted to retrain. Retrain Alabama. Doodly doo doo. Retrain to two handed. If we just had a soul bound sword that monks could use, I would totally do it. Whoa, we don't have enough. Oh no, we do. River Reed. We need River Reed. You should have to worry about the ambush for an exit. And yeah, true, true, very true. Any more enemies before we go inside? We oui? no. Good. <clears throat> How big is this castle going to be? I hope it's not huge.
Uh, a proper search of this mess would probably take hours. Well, we've got time. We've got some coins. Great. Quickly and quietly. <clears throat> Naz attack poetry. A compilation. Ooh, let's read some Naz attack poetry. <clears throat> the expedition. I move. There is no compulsion. It is not a need. But something pulls. I cannot deny its draw. The white wends out past my vision. Its fierce eyes watch me as I move. The wolf tracks my step. A silent companion who will not join. All is blank. A pale expanse lies before and behind. I search. The miles pass and still my feet move. My hunt continues, unabated. The landscape returns my gaze, unaffected by my presence. The snow falls, needles driven by the wind. Its cold teeth bite my skin. The snow gathers, its hands around my feet. A fierce opponent who will not relent. All is white. My journey continues. I travel. I can no longer stop. A true compulsion forms. The need drives me on. I must see. The sun breaks through the grey. Its unrelenting gaze thaws me. My body warms under its touch. Rigid limbs move again and carry me farther. All is empty. The breadth of existence is my destination. What the hell were the Nazadak smoking? Jesus Christ. Oh, Thrall Assassin? I don't suppose you're friendly. <clears throat> Thanos must speak with you. Come. Yeah, okay, man. Deal. But, uh, before I do that... Who are you, Uraki? Watch it! Distract me again and you're like to lose an eye. Um... I'm surprised I'm allowed to wander freely. If Consul Hot didn't want you here, you'd have known it the moment you came down those stairs. And then you'd be dead. If you were lucky. Need something? I'm still busy here. Um... Aren't you concerned about the siege? I mean, she shouldn't be. We just murdered the entire sieging force, but... Consul Hot hasn't even bothered to come out of his study since the attack started, so why should I worry? Because <clears throat> Consul Hort is clearly a badass. And you're probably not. Tell me about Consul Hort. He's not someone you want to cross. Or disappoint. You know, I really should get back to work. Well, what are you doing? Cataloging weights, centers of gravity, controlling a three and a half foot blade in the air is harder than it looks. Hmm. Who else is in Crag Holt? Aside from me, there are three other apprentices working on their own projects. I don't know anything about Sabal or Pelden, but stay away from Thanos, the Vithrak. There's something about him I don't trust. Is it that he's a Vithrak? <clears throat> I've not got good experience with Vithraki, I'll be honest. They have a habit of dying in my presence. <clears throat> Hello, Pelden. Stand back, ghoul. I'll summon you when I have need of you. Uh, if you say so, but don't you want to know how I taught myself to speak? Yeah. Effigy's eyes. Who are you? I don't have time for this. Get out of here and leave me to my work, all right? Ooh, perception. These ghouls are different. I should hope so. I've been trying to stabilize them, prevent them from decaying further. Of course... The process is not yet complete. Hmm. What do you know about Craig Holt? Why must you bother me with such inane questions? 
Go interrupt one of the other apprentices. Their time is much less valuable than mine. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Consul Fort? He's gonna say no. If you've never studied his repertoire of spell work, never read of his accomplishments in Maestra Albena's histories of modern magic, and somehow missed the small army he's held back outside, then no. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he didn't hold me he didn't hold me back, and I'm just one guy. Except that he's a powerful wizard with little patience. Press X to doubt. <clears throat> oh, is that the exit? See no keyhole, but a voice booms from the other side. Your master awaits a worthy pupil. Let the apprentice who has perfected a spell and gathered the lessons of his fellows speak his purpose. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm not going to perfect a spell, but... Maybe I can cheese it. <clears throat> Why not? Ne whoa, whoa, whoa! Void's here. There, done. Is that going to have aggroed everyone? Please don't have aggroed everyone. Hey friendo, sorry about that. Good, good. What about this guy? This guy's the guy who actually owns these things. Is he gonna have aggroed? No, cool. Omana Beast comes. Yes, most pleased is Thanos. I like how they didn't voice act this guy. They were like, shit, shit, what the hell does a Vithrak sound like? Shit, shit, let's just not voice act him. But everyone else is voice acted. Yeah, but let's not do it. Not Apprentice. No Omana Beast is something else. No Camp Smell. Not like Warrior Hive above. If not Apprentice and not Warrior Drone, maybe Omana Beast is ally. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I am. Uh, who are all these people? Servants, guards, useful tools. Okay, what are you doing? Making spells. Spell to please master. Much work to be done, but control spell will please master greatly. <clears throat> you think we can help each other? With key, with apprentice rivals. Thanos works hard for Master, but other apprentices, nasty beasts, want to be Master's favourite, want to kill Thanos. Tell me about the key, man. <clears throat> key is words, is knowledge. Master give key part to each apprentice. Say cleverest, strongest apprentice take all key parts. Amana beast take key parts from other apprentice rivals, then Thanos give final key part. Yeah, right. Come on, man. I'm not going to fall for that. Jesus Christ. What do you want me to do for you? Kill apprentice rivals. Um. I'll see what I can do, man. I'll see what I can do. Wait, are there four apprentices? I assumed there was only three. <clears throat> Out. Um. <clears throat> what happened to you? Alright, I'm going. I'm going. I mean, I'm not going, but...
Thanos made a deal to get your part of the key. Maybe you could make a better deal. No? Okay. Why, you fool? Oh. Sable! That's fine. <clears throat> as your fame expands, some characters will interact with you differently as a result. I don't believe that. I don't think anyone's ever reacted differently to me based on my reputation. I straight up don't believe it. No problem. Why not? There. Done. Jesus Christ. I did not expect that. <sighs> Got a whole bunch of skeletons locked in a closet. Skeletons in a closet. Shouldn't open the closet. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Oh, I was hoping I'd get them to fight each other. <clears throat> now, nah, that one dude is clearly going to betray me, but that's fine. Bunch of Adra. Just can't pick that. But we can if we go home and rest and get the mechanics plus three bonus. So I'll consider doing that. <clears throat> Too easy. No problem. Pathetic. She calls this an army of undead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Sorry, Sable. You should have just given me your part of the code. <clears throat> I mean, I would have killed you anyway, but... You know. Why would you keep it written down? Uh, Sable, it gives me pride to see what you've suffered for your craft. The other apprentices may be more learned than you, but none match your tenacity. For you understand something they do not. <clears throat> your body is a shell. If you are to achieve the power you desire, you will outlive it. Your fellows fight and scheme against one another. Only you recognize your true foe. Yes. <clears throat> Totally. Eve says, start of the game, bandits yell, kill the lowly traveller. Late game, big reputation, bandits yell, kill him, he is famous and loaded. Such a different reaction. <laughs> yeah, Got totally. <clears throat> Fable's research notes. Success with the new formula. The bonding with the vessel material is twice as strong as before. Presentation for console fort will be excellent. Need to acquire more skeletons first, or I can demonstrate my experiment to the other apprentices. Why would you demonstrate it to them? Why not? <clears throat> That'd just make you a threat. Great trap. Daily affirmations of focus and efficiency. Okay. <clears throat> One. All errors can be reforged into lessons. Abaddon himself... Abaddon, Abaddon rebuilt himself from ruin. No setback is insurmountable. Not even death itself. So long as the soul is dedicated to the task. I hope that lady remembered that one. I know you're dead, but... That's not insurmountable. <clears throat> Two. Work hard, work well. Abaddon demands only honest labour and forthright service. All errors can be reforged. Your first intentions are pure. Mm -hmm. All ignorance can be reforged into knowledge. Master your craft. Excel at what you've been trusted to do. Do not offend your teacher by remaining a student forever. Good advice. Each generation must forge its successors. Teach your trade to all who are willing to learn. And in doing so, multiply the fruits of your knowledge. Yeah, totally. All difficulties can be reforged into triumphs. Meet strife with humility and acceptance. Let adversity temper you the ingot of your will and you will never shatter. Hmm. Don't know about that. <clears throat> Embrace your station. Fulfill the duties of your rank and meddle not in the affairs of your betters. All guilds fail at their weakest link. Sure, sure. Don't do more than you're paid to do. Makes sense. All loss can be reforged into strength. Profitable work heals all emptiness. So long as you have the tools of your trade, you will always be able to forge wealth anew. <clears throat> uh... I don't know. That sounds like a cop-out. Value the work of others, and they will value your works in return. Share the harvest with the hungry, and your tools with the destitute. Mm. I feel like those two lines don't go together. <clears throat> All souls can be reforged into whatever we will. Hard work is not exclusive to life. Death is no time for complacency. Commit yourself to excellence in this cycle and the next. You can't do that though, right? Because when you go into the next cycle, you can't remember anything. <clears throat> what a crazy teaching. Unless you get awakened. Why not? There, done. Hey, skellies.
Very nice. Yoink. Oh, he had camping supplies. Awesome. <clears throat> Who's next on the list? Probably the ghoul guy. Now is not the time. Uh, Thanos wants you dead, man. And that hopeless fraud had to send you to waste my time, hmm? Fine. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! We could have worked something out. If you're gonna be like that. Ew. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? actually a little bit sketchy. Stupid ghouls. Oh no. Phew. Look, ghouls, I am your master now. No respect. You put in all that effort to murder their master. They just don't respect you for it. <clears throat> Yoink. Peldon's research notes. <clears throat> As if I'd leave notes on my experiments for anyone to find. Nice. But while you're reading this, Uraki, if one of your weapons wanders in here, I'm keeping it. Sable, I've never talked to you, but stay out of my lab. Thanos, I doubt you can even read, but I'm feeding your minions to my test subjects. The next time I catch one of them loitering outside my lab. See, this Pelden guy, he was on the ball. This won't stop me for long. There, done. I don't think I've got his notes, though. Could be problematic. Okay, and she's got a bunch of animated stuff. Need 
something? I'm still busy here. <clears throat> uh, I'm here for your piece of the key. That filthy spider put you up to this? He's using you, you know. Thinks he can control you like one of his mindless puppets. Mm. Tell you what, you help me instead, and I'll give you whatever he's offered plus a little extra. Deal? Deal. Good. Come back when you've got the other pieces of the key. I mean, <clears throat> it's not really a deal. Let's go! Jesus! She doesn't play. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> Just have to uh, not focus on her. No problem. These ones are crazy. Uh oh. Fly, you fool! Oh, they keep me locked down. Okay, we're dead. Fair's fair. Maybe focus on the ones first. If they're keeping us locked down. Got it. Let's go. ones don't mess about. <clears throat> no problem. Okay, <clears throat> one down.
Let's go. Ooh. Oh, nice. She came out. And he's whiffing her spells for some reason. Hey, if she wants to keep wasting her spells, you won't hear me complaining. Uarki, <clears throat> you tinker with blades and bludgeons while your peers shape the bodies and minds of Kit, and they look down on you for it. Let them. Spell work often attracts a certain kind of mind, one drawn to the mystery and theatre of Grand Arcane Spectacle. But you are burdened with no such pretension. You see magic for what it is, power, raw and malleable. You shape it as best suits your needs, and this is what gives the great spells their strength. While the other apprentices are still perfecting their own ambitious spells, you will complete yours. When that day comes, strike them down and do not hesitate. Hmm. Do they have their cool spells in their grimoires? Because that'd be a, a neat, neat little thing. If they had like special spells that you could only get. from these wizards, because they've been making new spells. <clears throat> That'd be pretty cool. I don't understand how these guys were holding off that army outside, honestly. The army outside was way tougher. God damn it. Ugh. I was hoping they went back inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize there was quite so many of them left. Sure. Whew. It's all about killing these ones that can do stuck. Then the rest of them become easy.
time to see and not be seen. Let's go! Let's go! Ooh. Excellent. <clears throat> The last troublemaker. Once this one's dead, we're fine. It's the last one that can do stuck. I will save. I will save. Now's a good time for a save. Ooh, there's another one. Thank you very much. Okay. There's limits to what I'm willing to read. <clears throat> the enchantment duration on the animated weapons remains inconsistent. I've ruled out weapon type and material but it's frustrating when the exact same procedure on identical weapons yields different results. The smell from Peldon's lab doesn't help things either. The elders are counting on me to alter the balance of power on the isle in our tribe's favour. If I don't return home with a reliable army of weapons, it may be better never to return at all. Alright, Uroaki. <clears throat> Calm yourself. We do need to come back with uh, the mechanics buff. I think what we do is we rest, we talk to this fool who's inevitably going to betray us, we kill him, I have the key parts, Omana Beast dealt with other pupils, I did, take final key piece and see master, Thanos will go later, wait what? Come with me, man. No, no, Thanos must stay. Thanos, <clears throat> to say I don't believe you is an understatement. Thanos, I'm sorry. Let's go! 
Thanos! Oh my god. <clears throat> 20 second paralysis, huh? Alright, Thanos, you win this round. I can't believe he just handed over his thing. All the signs were there for him to betray us. Sure. Hey, Thanos. Hmm. Wanted to ask him about Let's the mysterious go. notes. Maybe the betrayal comes when you see the master. Yeah, probably. Probably. It was awfully suspicious that he didn't want to come with us. Still, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk having to fight the Master and Thanos at the same time. Hell no. Oh, Thanos. His stun paralysis combo is ridiculous. I mean, he did just get killed by something. Oh, my uh, my damage, right? My sweet damage that I do when people attack me. Ah, poor Thanos. I was fortunate, because uh, I don't think I could have got out of that paralysis stun block that he has. <sighs> I bet he gave us a fake key. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. I thought he might give us a fake one, and when we tried to use it, the door would kill us or something. He had another Vithrak brain on his table. 
What? Thanos, you crazy mofo. You've been killing your Vithrak friends. Interesting. <clears throat> right, before we go in there, we'll leave. Then we'll go back to Kadnua, rest, get the mechanics bonus, then we can come back here, pick those two locks, see what's in them, and then we'll, uh, you know, go and see the big boss man, see how he feels about us murdering all his apprentices. If only we had a spell to show him, he might be like, you are the true apprentice. Maybe if you're a wizard, you can do that. <laughs> Spare a thought, quite literal. Very good. <clears throat> Maybe if you're a wizard, you can actually become his apprentice. Like, I did what you asked, I killed all your other apprentices. That'd be cool. You'd still need a spell to wow him with. Hey, Jeremy. Uh, what's being worked on today? We killed a dragon. Oh yes, we killed a dragon. That was the first thing we did. And then... <clears throat> We've been going through this keep. We had to fight our way through a whole bunch of mercenaries who were besieging the keep. And then inside, there was a whole bunch of apprentices who were like, what, what? And they were all competing with each other. They were all competing with each other to, uh, <clears throat> they had to kill each other. So we killed them all. And now we've got all the parts to go and see their master. So we're going to go and see him, see what's what. But first, there was two locked chests that we didn't have the mechanics skill to open. So we came back here because we needed camping supplies anyway. And we got our resting bonus that gives us plus two mechanics. And then when we go back there with our camping supplies, we should be able to open those two locks. See what they've got hidden away. Probably nothing useful, but it's good to document it, you know? No good wondering what's Hail in there. Traveler. <clears throat> and then... Uh, after we've done that, we will... Try and continue with the main storyline. We had a great fight yesterday, Jeremy, fighting a Kraken. Really, really tough. The end boss of the expansion. Wasn't as tough as the Adra. The Adra dragon. It took us, what, like five hours? I still remember those five hours killing the Adra dragon. I'm pretty sure you were there for it, Jeremy. Down at the bottom of Cadnua. <clears throat> like in Star Wars, there's only one Sith Apprentice. Yeah, totally. The guy wanted them all to murder each other, basically. Eve says, combine all research, do you get an enchanted ghoulish skeletal thrall weapon? Maybe. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think their grimoires should have had their unique spells in it, and that should be the only way to get them. Because they're inventing new spells, right? But I guess they never finished their spell, technically. You never made it to the bottom of the castle. <clears throat> really? There's a dragon. Also, good to see you, Rain. There's a dragon. A really, really tough dragon.
There's also a friendly community of Vithrak who you can trade with just before the dragon. Pretty sure we killed them all. Right, let's go uh, unlock these chests, now that we've got the mechanics buff. <coughs> then we can go see this wizard leader guy. Wizard leader guy knows how to party. This won't stop me for long. There, done. Wow, great trap. 500 coins, which are actually worth 12. Great. It would be cool to have at least one enchanted weapon not counting as ally. Yeah, that would be cool. <clears throat> also, I realize now that each one of those coins is worth 12. This CP. won't stop me for long. There, done. These traps are pathetic. Why even bother? No, wait. Ugh. I take that back. <clears throat> hey, nice. The only thing I'm worried about is that this wizard might be hostile after all that. He may be hostile. <laughs> All right, Rain. <clears throat> Hopefully we can finish this game and get on to Pillars of Eternity 2. I installed it. I installed Pillars of Eternity 2. Your master awaits a Well, he's got boss fight written all over him. Okay. <clears throat> Your master awaits a worthy pupil. Yeah, Let yeah. Her. First, you shall prove your merit. Can do. A wizard must protect himself from the arcane and the mundane. From spellcaster and soldier alike. Of the many defenses available to the wizard, which comes first? Uh, barrier spells. No, wait, strong armor. Return to the lessons I have given you and your fellows before you speak again. All right, all right. Chill out. I'm not gonna try and find those notes, so your master Ah, a wizard must protect himself Barrier spells from the art return to the lessons I Oh my god. Your <clears throat> ma ah, a wizard must return to the lessons I have It was none of them. Am I missing some loot? and not be seen. Hidden? Is there a hidden thing in here? This is the guy who didn't leave his, um... Didn't leave his stuff lying around. He said, haha, I'm not gonna leave my stuff where anyone can find it. You think we talked about this before, but your favourite part of games like this is character creation. You can spend hours building a character. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. I, I like that as well.
It would be nice if the guy was just like, oh yeah, you killed all those disciples, good job. He hasn't left me any goddamn lessons. Ugh. I'm sure I read all his notes. Sable's notes. Has nothing useful. <clears throat> Thanos' note. Uh, to be fair, I never... Never read Thanos' note. <coughs> Thanos, more than any of the others, you've chosen a path that complements your natural strengths. Your mind is a maze, and you use it to ensnare, ensnare not only your thralls, but also your fellow pupils. They are blind to it because they look at you and see an animal. Which is why I shall warn you only once. Tempt your trickery on me, and I will give your corpse to Peldon. I feel the workings of your mind as surely as you would feel a disturbance in your web. You would displace me as readily as you'd follow me. But the first defense of any wizard is a warded mind, and I have had centuries to strengthen mine. A warded mind! So with that said, your question is, in POE2, do I continue with this character, or am I going to make a new one? Uh, continue with this one. Also. Is that bugged out? Because there's no way my max health should be that low. Critical fatigue? Must have been that goddamn trap. Oh. <clears throat> Shiza. Your mat ah, a wizard must protect himself. Awarded mine. The arcade you have learned well. Yeah, I have. But a wizard must also defend against his own deficiencies, lest he fall to them. Which weakness is deadliest? There should be another answer here. None of these talk about deadly weak and weaknesses. Oh, I have his note. <clears throat> Peldon, you're the most talented of my apprentices, but your understanding is merely a page among the tomes of knowledge I've accumulated. Curb your pride until you've earned it. No weakness is deadlier. Pride. Pride cometh before the fall. I can almost see your hands shaking and your face reddening as you read this. You think that mastering a few basic hexes makes you my worthy pupil? I had crafted the parasitic staff when I was half your age. And while I worked, my peers plotted against me. <clears throat> You may have surpassed the others for now, but they will band together against you if you give them reason. Conceal your skill with mistakes. Hide your malice behind smiles. Sacrifice your vanity for a few precious years that you might survive long enough to earn the title of wizard. Cool. <clears throat> your mask are... A wizard must you have, but a wizard must also defend Pride. against his own deficiencies. Many fall by overestimating their own power. Yet for the wizard who understands the nature of magic, power is nearly limitless. What quality of magic is most critical to powerful spell work? Um, malleability. Yes, though few will ever grow skilled enough to wield it well. I couldn't remember that one, but it was obvious, right? <clears throat> 
One test of your understanding remains. What is a wizard's true foe? Mortality. Mortality. You may proceed. Whew. <clears throat> Hey, buddy. An emaciated figure hunches over a stack of books. As you enter the room, it rises, and you feel as though you can see each rib and vertebrae shift into place beneath a pale film of flesh. It turns, twisting wasted skin and tendons around its bones. Two eyes burn from its angular, shrunken face. Be a lich. You don't carry the air or allure of greatness. But others have underestimated you to their own peril, have they not? Absolutely. What brings you to my study? Oh, look, wizard. Requirement not met. <clears throat> <laughs> Jeremy says, come before your master so I can see what you have learned. Let me test you. Okay, I'm ready. Let me pull out the notes, because I didn't have time to remember the notes. <laughs> um... <clears throat> I thought you might need help, man. I thought you might need help. <laughs> I can deal with whatever pathetic mercenary band my rivals have sent after my phylactery. But yes, you can help. Uh -huh. Spells are fueled by ambient essence in the ether. A miserly trickle of energy that leaks from the wheel. Because the medium is so poor, a wizard must normally focus his efforts on the runes and incantations that channel it. Yeah, but you want to do something with me, right? This is where the betrayal comes in. But imagine what could be done with a more powerful source of essence. A Watcher's soul, for instance. Look, man, do you know who hired the Torn Bannerman? We're just going to play ignorant like we don't know that he's going to murder us. One of the other Archmages, no doubt. My wagers on Archimere or Lengra. Yeah. Always hiding behind glamours and diversions. True. But it could have been any of my rivals. Hmm. Tell me about your phylactery, man. Would you think to steal it from under my nose? As if it were so easy. No, I'm just curious. A phylactery isn't some bauble I wear around my neck or hide in a chest. It's a complex layer of spellwork carved into my skull with runes and sealed with a peg of Adra. Smart. This guy's wise. It is the reason I'm here. Surviving. All right. Catch you later, man. Where are you going? I'm just getting started with you. Yeah, I'm sure you are, but you didn't lock the door, so, you know. Damn, missed. You're not gonna lock the door. <clears throat> Rookie mistake. If he'd locked the door, that would have actually been a challenge. <sighs> Poor naive fool. Remember, folks, if you're going to ambush someone and you've got a whole bunch of minions around you, 
Don't just leave the door open so they can run away. My eyes are peeled. Could have asked what kind of spell requires a watcher's soul. That's true, but <clears throat> personally, and I know you guys might care, but I don't give a damn. He's not getting my soul, so it's irrelevant. The spell's never getting cast. Let's go! Cool if um, <clears throat> you know we met that other watcher earlier. It'd be cool if you could be like, "Well, hold up, man! You don't need my soul. I'll go and capture this other guy, and you can have his soul." That'd be cool. My eyes but he was never going to agree to that, especially not when we already murdered the other watcher. <clears throat> Oh, uh, what a dumb wizard. Pride. <clears throat> he said it was the downfall of wizards. And he wasn't wrong. It's going to be his downfall as well. Pride, carelessness, uh, overconfidence, a shitty grasp on magic. Telling me where his phylactery is. That probably wasn't a good idea as well. Time to see and you think see. I'll just tell you where my phylactery is? Well, it's buried in my skull. Let's I'll save after I kill these guys. We all stuck. Okay, look. <clears throat> I'll be the first to admit that my save after killing these guys plan may have backfired. Oh! 
Who? <laughs> they got me good. They got me good. I brought that upon myself. Those ones, they really don't mess around. Is this pre-combat? All right, I'll ask him what spell can the you witch's soul do. You to my, huh? but, you spell but imagine what could be done with the most demanding and visionary kind. The kind that wizards have argued over for centuries. Names like Cadabal the Red and Mora of the Seven Hills. Even you must know of them. I do not. And Eve, you were right. Pride was my downfall. It was. The power to warp and wind time. Like a skein of wool wrapped about your finger. To strangle its flow. Oh, he wants to, to do time travel. Trickle. Perhaps to reverse it altogether. Would you think a philo it is the reason where Time travel, huh? <clears throat> I didn't actually expect him to say time travel. Pretty cool. We need to get ourselves a Watcher's Soul. <clears throat> I'll be more careful this time. And by that, I mean I'll save after each fight. As I remember. Whew. Time to see and not be seen. Let's go. Pride's going to be my downfall again. Yoink. I like how my dead guy is just frozen here. Did he die while paralyzed or something?
Pretty cool either way. No, you don't, you dumb magic wand. This should be fine. Pride cometh before the fall. <laughs> Just needed him to not do twenty four damage in that disengage. But he was one step ahead of me. He did the 24 damage. <clears throat> God damn it. Got it. <sighs> Let's go. I'm reassured by the fact that I'm pretty sure this is DLC content, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure it's going to be harder than any other fight that we have to face from now on. Yeah, I could kill one flea, save, repeat. I definitely could. Just I really thought I could kill two flea save repeat. It was close. It was very close. Because I reloaded, we lost our little statue guy. My eyes are peeled. The only real threat left after this is <clears throat> that wand. I know it's a bit pathetic to say, but that wand is a real threat. <clears throat> it's the fact that it keeps your perma stuck. <clears throat> I know I do have a hat that makes us immune to stuck, which I probably should wear. My eyes are peeled. I'm not willing to switch hats. I'm just not willing. Let's go! 
Oh, console hot. Where are your friends now? Uh-oh, he's got some crazy hammer move. Wow, that is ridiculous. Console Hawk, cut it out! God. Is that the worst spell of all time? Possibly. Let's go. Console Hort, you're a real jerk, man. Oh my god, what kind of a spell is that? If you got a party, it's probably alright, because it can only happen to one guy. But Jesus Christ. <clears throat> He's not messing around. That hammer spell is ridiculous. Be cool if, if you're a wizard and you beat him. Be cool if you can uh, get that hammer spell. Sure. sure. Get up, quick, before before the one casts its annoying thing. <laughs> nail in the coffin and I am the nail, totally. Okay, this should be fine. And then we can kill console fort at our leisure. Interestingly, this guy had representatives of three of his apprentices, right? <clears throat> he had the animated weapons, <clears throat> he had the algals, and he had the uh, skeleton dudes. But he didn't have any thralls. Which implies that that Thos guy, uh, Thanos, Quickly and quiet. was doing something this guy couldn't do. Or chose not to, I guess. Alright, Consul Hort, your time has come. God, I hate that hammer so much. Okay, Console Hort, if you want to play, let's play. God damn it, I was hoping he'd cast it on one of the other guys. Ugh. Ugh. 
console hot. Fine. It's fine. Just because he's got a ridiculous spell. <clears throat> Alright, Console Hawks, no I didn't want to do this. You left me no choice. He got it off. Ah, 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 he wasted it on another guy. Console Hawk! Another summoner's decoy or damage dealer. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We don't have many good summons. It's a shame that horn we got that let us summon the ogres. It's a shame that was like, well, you can use it for this zone and then it's useless. Because that was a really nice horn. <clears throat> Catch you later, Eves. Sure. Whew. Let's go. I think worth. Sometimes they have special attacks. Hey. Such a cheap move. Oh my god. I think worth it. <laughs> Such a cheap move, man. Such a cheap move. Like, oh yeah, I'm just going to summon this hammer that's just going to knock you to the ground non stop. Ugh. Fine, we almost got him. No problem. Let's go. Oh. 
I hate this guy so much. <clears throat> I never thought a mage could be this annoying. Fortunately, no one else seems to have that spell. <sighs> I wonder if it's in his grimoire. <clears throat> Canonically, it should be, right? Based on the law. Got it. Because you can only cast spells that are in your grimoire. Uh, well, it is one hell of a move. There's no denying that. I hate it so much. <laughs> what are you supposed to do against it? Ugh. Except not let him cast it. Got it. Let's go! I think worth it. <laughs> I don't know. I almost had him that one time. Magic cheese might be the only way. Uh, not magic. Range cheese. Might be the best option. No problem. Let's go! Damn, missed! I think worth it. I can make him waste most of his spells, right? He's a wizard, so his spells must be limited. As a wizard, he can't have infinite spells. Damn, missed. Nah. Nah. Oh, Get up, damn you. OK, 
Okay, that's two hammers down. I don't know how many he's got. At least one more. Damn, missed. Love the rule. seek. Love Useless. He's using his wand. Well, I did not see that coming. <clears throat> Quickly and quietly. Right, the hope is... I think spells only recover on rest. Don't know if that's true for all spells, but I think it might be. So... I guess the hope is that he's uh, running low on spells, which he clearly is, otherwise he wouldn't be using his wand. <clears throat> so now is the time to strike. Ah, console hort. Should have brought more grimoires, man. I bet you've only got one. It's phylactery though, right? Summon console hort. What? <laughs> it's a pet. Oh, look, it does have it. <clears throat> so if you were a wizard and you could get this book, you would get that amazing console hort spell. Console hort's crushing doom. The hammer strikes repeatedly, becoming larger, more accurate, and more damaging each time. Ridiculous. Does he have any other cool spells? No. But Console Hort's Crushing Doom. That's one hell of a spell. Jesus. <clears throat> Won't get far like this. Console Hort, you're a cool dude. <clears throat> Hey, look, Console Hort is going to follow us around. Kind of. He's sort of just wandering around on his own. <clears throat> so then what? I can summon Console Hort once per rest. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe he'll cast the hammer. We do take damage from it, but that's fine. Summon three shades. Won't 
get far like this. Let me get like console hort secret diary. Um, yeah, I'll search the bookcase. A grimoire. Cool. <clears throat> Missives of the Hand Occult. Oh, the Hand Occult. That must be a... the group that he was part of, right? <clears throat> Dearest brother, or was it sister, may this letter find you in well spirits. A man of thuggish bearing stormed into my library the other day and demanded I help him find a book on the construction of an arquebus. I thought it proper service to wail to steer this man towards an illuminated manuscript on the subject of whittling toy soldiers and other miniature props. Unamused by my solution, I shrugged and said, What is an answer without a question? He did not find my spiritual rhetoric helpful or amusing, and so he punched out two of my teeth. I trust your summer has been less tumultuous than mine. In more important news, my apprentice claims she saw the eyeless face in a dream the other night. I admit, I was so mad with envy that at first I refused to believe her. Whale, forgive me for such a lack of judgement. She described an amour of brilliant blue hues, with a featureless face surrounded by a swarm of eyes. No two eyes alike. He claims Whale ignored her questions, and she can't recall any specifics of what was said. In fact, my apprentice seems to have forgotten many things since before the visitation. She could not tell me where she grew up or what she liked to eat. At first I was so envious of her for having seen Whale with her own eyes, but it seems Whale's visit was to conceal, not to illuminate. I pray she endures this test of faith and can look back at the event and feel the joy of mystery. What is an answer without a question? Last week, I felt the solution was ignorance, but after Whale's visit, I feel a road without length is closer to the capturing the riddle. <clears throat> I worry my apprentice will look back at her visit from Whale and feel cheated. Robbed of some moment of clarity, we all thought we were owed when we first joined. I tried to tell her she was lucky, but she was too young to understand. What is an answer without a question? May I be dead, and my soul scattered to the winds, before anyone knows for certain. Interesting. Yoink. Search the bookcase. I got some gems. I'm on console hort. Console hort, come on, man. Console hort. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have whipped him out in his library. Also, this guy didn't think through his phylactery very well. If uh, anyone who killed him could then, like, enslave his head, you know? Console Hort. There we go, come on, man. <sighs> Let's go back to Cadnua and buy some camping supplies. Uh, rest up. And then... I 
can also talk to the steward and be like, I dealt with that console hawk guy. I know you didn't tell me to, but I did. Our steward was just like, there's some crazy stuff going on at console hawk's house. Should go check it out. <clears throat> I think maybe murdering him and stealing his skull wasn't quite what they expected us to do. But what can you do? So I wonder if you're a wizard, if you can actually become his apprentice. That'd be sweet. Oh, steward. I trust all is well. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. There is not. Welcome. Uh, let's just get camping supplies. Let's get a grappling hook. Get all that. <clears throat> now, let's see what state our journal's in. It's coming along pretty nicely, I think. We've got these. We can do iron and flame. <coughs> but uh, apart from that, the rest of them are just companion quests. Companion quests, which I guess we could do. I'd rather just murder the companions, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. Go to Crucible Keep. I believe we wiped this place out, so it should be pretty dead. Pretty sure we went on a killing spree. No, oh, maybe not. I guess we didn't wipe out this place yet. I think we wiped out the docks, for sure. I remember that vaguely from two years ago, murdering everyone in the docks. Maybe we let this place live. Did I murder everyone in Crucible Keep? Yeah. Good. <clears throat> now they want me to place the hammer near the altar. In the altar. Um...
right? Travel to Crucible Keep and bless the hammer at the Shrine of Abaddon. Shrine of Abaddon. I mean, that looks like a shrine. Maybe not of Abaddon. Ah! Wait, what? Ah! Bless the hammer. Done. And then we need to go to the Shrine of Magran at Magran's Forge. <clears throat> Not sure if we wiped out Magran's Forge. Why did I murder everyone here, though? There must have been a reason. Hmm. Magrin's Fork, not Magrin's Forge. Cool! <clears throat> now let's get this quest out of the way. Then... We've got a bounty that we need to do. That should be easy though. It's not an expansion bounty, so it should be pretty pathetic. And there used to be a guy here. <clears throat> Maybe there still is. No, I'm pretty sure we killed him. Well, great. Really? Alright, you stupid Drake, if you want to fight. Oh my god. Let's go. <sighs> I remember when these guys used to be tough. Come a long way. They do have pretty cool death animations. <clears throat> Elm Shore.
go do this bounty. Then we'll go give that lady a hammer. And then we can kill her in peace. Let's see how this ogre shaman is. I don't expect him to be too tough. Is that a hostile antelope? Wow. Wait, have I not fully explored this though? Good to be fighting enemies who aren't that Let's tough anymore. Go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's... <clears throat> Have I used a skull yet? No, because it, it actually deals damage to me uh, when I use it. But I'll try it. I'll try it in the next fight. <clears throat> I think it deals a lot of damage as well. But we'll try it out. It may be our ace in the hole. Oh, he can cast his hammer. I shouldn't take that much damage from it. Okay, cool. <clears throat> So console hort is actually pretty damn good. Even if we just use him and just get the hammer off. That's a really effective thing. We can only use it once per rest, but that's fine. No problem. Oh, Forest Troll got killed by his friend. Ah, oh, Forest Troll. You were the chosen one.
20 seconds of petrification. petrification. Son of a gun. Time to see and not be seen. Time to kill and not be killed. Let's go. Oh. Ha, got him. We'll use console hort against the uh, shaman guy when we finally find him, the ogre shaman. I suspect he's in there. Well, that's just not fair. God damn it. This is so many beetles. And that petrification for 20 seconds is absurd. Legitimately absurd. <clears throat> And I didn't say it. Learn my lesson. Let's save. <clears throat> Let's go.
I like having console thought following us around. My eyes are peeled. He's not just a pet. He's a cool dude. Let's go. Oh. Useless. Let's go. Ah. Remember, console thought is for life. Not just for Christmas. Let's go. Useless. Let's go. Useless. Let's go. Man, F these guys! These generic enemies are surprisingly tough. <laughs> I guess it's just because there's so many of them. Either that or it's just my overconfidence. It's probably my overconfidence. Let's go! Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Useless. Let's go. Useless. Let's go. Whew. These guys stick you down every time they hit you, which is a bit awkward. Let's go! <clears throat> oh, this place is much cooler in the day. I mean, really? Useless. Why do they feel the need to be such jerks? You know? Just be cool about it. There's no need to summon like a million flame blights all the time. A million blights, yeah. stuns, petrifications, everything under the sun. They're just mental. They really don't play around. <clears throat> Fine though. It's all fine. Just need to be more cautious. I know I keep saying that and then running in like Leroy Jenkins, but No problem. I feel like at this point we should be able to just Leroy Jenkins it. I guess there's no denying we can't though, so Go 
at that. 20 seconds of petrification. Let's go! Let's go! Followed by another 10 seconds worth. It just beggars belief. It just beggars belief. Hmm. No problem. Quickly and quietly. Let's go. The Adrogans are the problem. Everything else is totally fine. Let's try for 20 seconds, of course. Of course! I thought this was going to be easy. In and out, kill the Ogre Shaman, job done. Not fight three Adrigans at once who can all petrify you for 20 seconds. Ugh. No problem. See and not be seen. Let's go. Sure, I'll kill these. Take a little chunk out of them at least. Every little help. See and not be seen. Let's go. Oh! This is actually pretty good. Let's go. Gets her on her own. Good. Quickly and quietly. Two left. At least I think it's two left.
God damn it. They weren't all supposed to come. Okay, the other one left. That's good. These things aren't bad, it's just when you're petrified, they can always hit you, so you take so much damage at once. Try for 20 seconds, of course. That's okay, though. Let's go. I tried for another 20 seconds. Look how ridiculous that is. If she decides to cast the Petrify within 20 seconds of each other, you just boned. Ugh. Okay, kill her before she can petrify. Let's go! Ah, got him. Guys, you mean to my uh, bludgeoning damage? A random corpse. Nice. My eyes are peeled. Was that worth it for some camping supplies? Absolutely not. But... It did clarify what's in this zone. Another dead guy. Where could this shaman be? This map's quite small. Not sure why we never fully explored it. It's very odd. Very odd for me to not fully explore his own we're in. Hadragans, I've seriously had enough of your crap. Of course. <laughs> we do have something. Is it a cape? I don't know if it protects against paralysis or petrification. I think it's paralysis.
because this game is brutal and it has paralysis, petrification and stun that basically are exactly the same ability. They do exactly the same thing. But there's three of them. So you have to get immunity against all three. Ugh, it's brutal. Immunity to paralyzed. Sure. Shizer. Paralyzed is no good. He's a dragon. Let's go. Useless. So much for killing her before we got petrified. I'll just have to lower her out like I did the other one. They weren't supposed to follow. God damn it. Get that hoe! I hate Adrigans so much. So much. Ugh. My eyes are peeled. But I beat it. I'll be right back.
Okay. <clears throat> so. I'm feeling a lot better now that those Adragan are dead. Like, these blights are seriously pathetic. It's just when you're paralyzed. They get exponentially better. Which is really not cool. Time to see and not be seen. Please don't be any more Adrigan. I can't deal with any more Adrigan. Well, I can, but I don't want to. Ooh, ogres. Is this going to be the ogre chief? Ah, console hort. You sure are a great dude. Not only that, but you can really take a pounding. Consul Hort is the man. I thought he was only supposed to last for twenty seconds. for the entire combat. Look, duration, 20 seconds. Interesting. Got it. Maybe he's bugged? If so, I'm pretty happy about that. Quickly and quietly. <clears throat> Console hot. Console hot. don't want to deal with another Adragan. Oh, 
Okay, good. So relaxing when I'm not getting paralyzed. Wisps. No problem. Console Hort's skull is so buggy, like it doesn't follow me around like a normal pet does. Sorry, antelope. You know the rules. Nobody Red lives. Wait, is that guy alive? Dying monk. Please help me. Uh, what's it worth? Please, traveler. Oh, look, we get a monk one. This is but mere suffering. Transcend the pain and draw strength from your injuries. Yeah, totally. I have tried. I held the pain at bay as long as I could, but my wounds are fatal and my flesh beyond the control of my training. What happened? Forgetful, so careless. Cuts on my knuckles from morning practice. The Stelgers, they smelled the blood on me. Um. I've heard of you, your cruelty is known to us. Will it please you to watch a stranger die? Would it please you more to know I die with my mission unfilled? What's your, what's your mission? This must be delivered to my order. Needs to be carried to the Celestial Sapling. Give this to my brothers, they will reward you. Do not open it. The contents for my brothers only. Um. I'll open it. Rejoice, seekers. The judicious application of pain has loosened the tongue of our informant. The artifact we seek has recently been moved to Elm's Reach. It should be secured in a residence near the entrance of the settlement. The informant suggested it's likely stashed away under the floor. We've endured much in our pursuit of this hallowed relic. Soon our efforts will come to fruition. The, control the Council of Arch Martyrs awaits your triumphant return. Hey! Elm's Reach, residence near the entrance. Is that a fact? Is that a fact? <sighs> Thanks, monk. Quickly and quietly. <clears throat> I guess he commented based on my reputation, right? Your cruelty is known to us. Nice. Good to see word gets around. My eyes are peeled. Hmm. My eyes are peeled. Oh, 
This has got a boss fight written all over it. Why is there no one here? Actually, you know what that looks like? That looks like that's going to go down and there's going to be like a secret dungeon here. That's what that looks like. Also, I think the shaman's in this cave. Time to see and not Hey, see. my skull's back. Now run the wise, that's the guy. Console Hort. I need you now more than ever. Hort, you sure are a great guy. Probably bought some healing items with me. No! Let's go! They killed Console Hort. Run, Beetle, run! Are they not going to move? Shy's a console hawk let me down. I mean, I guess I kind of let myself down. <sighs> no problem. Come on then. Go gadget console hawk. This isn't ideal, but it could be worse. Ooh. 
I believe in you, little beetle. <clears throat> I believed in you, little beetle. This isn't looking massively great. I'll be the first to admit that. Don't let me use it. Oh, because this shitty thing's still alive. Okay, Swamp Lurker. You're doing the Lord's work.
<laughs> Sometimes it bugs out and it brings you back to life. Sometimes. That was close to being incredibly good. Whew. This is not an easy fight. I could equip some healing potions. I suppose. Bit of a cop out, isn't it? Bit of a cop out. No problem. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> Summoned him a bit too early. Got it. Let's go. Now I summon him. Good job. Oh. Quickly and quietly. What a guy.
That's another quest down. Pretty happy about that. Why not? There, done. Ben Walkers. Eh, they're all right. Okay. Now we go to and in these quests. So glad to be done with this zone, Jesus. Go hand this in install what the uh, magic hammer. Then she'll be super stoked. <clears throat> then we can kill her. And then I think that's every quest from the expansion done as well. This is the last one that was uh, holding out. Hey, friend. Here, I completed the ritual. Just in time. I was supposed to be done with this sword yesterday. Let's just watch. Pretty sure it's gonna kill her. <clears throat> Masker swings the hammer down hard, and both blade and anvil ring with the force of the blow. The blade's metal ripples like liquid as it shapes itself into a proper sword. Masca grins and nods at you, but the ringing continues, becoming more and more shrill, and just as the sound becomes unbearable, the sword shatters, scattering metal shards across the room. Talfir's ritual. I haven't seen anyone try to use it in some time. You had help, of course, but it doesn't change the fact that you were the instigator. Is there any reason I shouldn't immediately cast you out of the temple? No. What about you? You made yourself a part of this. Is there anything you wish to say in Masker's defense? Um... All errors can be reforged into lessons. It says so right here in this book. Oh, that's the book, the Abaddon's Teachings. Would that more of my acolytes actually read the book. Nice! A gift. The Unlabored Blade. Thanks, Masker. Much appreciated. Why not? There, done. Yoink. <clears throat> the unlabored blade, huh?
a dagger. A shitty, shitty soulbound dagger. I mean, I guess it's not that she. No fist, though. You know, I am specced with a dual wielding. If we had two good one handed weapons, it might be worth using them. I know our fists are pretty great, but some massively high level weapons are probably better if we enchanted them. Probably. Possibly. Potentially. Hmm. Most of the soulbound stuff we've got is a uh, two-handed, I think. Where's the bounty hunter guy? Up here, I think. And in this bounty, hopefully there's no more. <clears throat> do 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 do. Hey, bounty hunter, dude. Well met, friend. <clears throat> War Chief Ikak. Be the last one. Think he might be Iklak. How hard can a Zorip war chief be? Probably not that hard. When did it say he was? Veilwood. Pretty sure we've cleared out Veilwood. Yeah, it's this place, the place with the bear cave. I assume he's in the Zorip camp, right? Oh no, I didn't want to ignore a supplicant. Oh.
Ah, this is easy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Praise go. the Lord. I was actually a bit worried. I reckon there'll be like a super mega bounty at the end. For a dragon or something? That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. <clears throat> I refuse to dignify these Zora with a strategy of any kind. Oh, thank you. Another one biteths the dust. <clears throat> also, for Pills of Eternity 2, you'll be happy to know I've installed it on my SSD. So it should be much faster. These load times. Ugh. <clears throat> this one's on my regular hard drive. And you can really tell. Please don't have any more bounties. I'm tired of bounty hunting. And I can't turn down a quest. Good day to you. Oh, you scumbag. Oh, you absolute scumbag. Got a vampire. Got a priest. Got a troll. We've got a chanter. Shiza. That's fine. We'll go bounty hunting tomorrow. We'll finish off these bounties. And then we'll go and see what that seal missive's about. If the monks have got a secret artifact, maybe it'd be good for us. You never know. We are a monk. And then, hopefully, we can actually do what I thought we'd do today. Continue the main quest line. But we have got a lot done today. Killed a dragon. Done a million bounties. Feel like we did some other stuff as well. Oh yeah, uh, killed that wizard and did all that stuff. Totally forgot about that. Right. I'm going to head off. And I shall... Uh... Catch you guys later. Adios.